Hi, this is Sweet June. How's everybody doing today? Coming back at you with another video. Uh, it's a beautiful day up here in Michigan. A little warm, a little warm on the, on the humid side. The humidity could stand to be lower, but I've been spending most of the day in the house under the fan with my curtains drawn. <laughs> so I'm staying uh, kind of mostly cool. It's a little bit of a breeze out, but I haven't really been out much today because I got to go to work tonight. So just trying to get rested up and everything. I'm hoping everybody is doing good. Um, hope all is well with it's with everybody and everything. Um, if you if you guys have noticed um, over the past few months, I've been wearing my hair natural over the past few months. In the summertime, I like to go natural. Um, because in a, um, I, I do enjoy wearing the pieces. Um, I like wearing the pieces. I really do. Um, but, um, I mainly like to wear them in the winter, the fall months in the winter. Um, in the summertime, I like to go natural because it's just too hot. It's too hot with all that hair. You know, I used to be able to do it, but... Um, I'm going through my change and I get hot flashes so I get hot flashes on top of the heat sometimes and it's too much it's just my head just gets too hot you know and I feel like in the summertime that I have a hat on and it just it, it's too hot it's just too hot so um, I use the summertime as an opportunity to wear my hair natural let my scalp breathe um, I'm having some right now currently I'm having some issues with um, now, I don't know if it's because I'm going through my change. Um, I, I think that might have a large part to do with it. I'm having a hard time, a very difficult time, to be honest, uh, growing my hair right now. Uh, the top of my hair used to be the thickest part of my hair. Um, but now it's the thinnest part of my head. And so most of my hair is towards the back of my head. And then my edges... If you guys have not noticed, my edges are kind of blew out. <laughs> so I would like to grow some hair along my edges. And I'm just right now, it's, well, over the past uh, few years, I've been having a hard time um, growing my hair. Um, it does grow in the back very slowly, but it grows. Um, but I'm having a hard time at the top of my head. This used to be the thickest part of my head, and I'm having a hard time at the top of my head. And I think a lot has to do with the fact that I am going through my change. I mean, that's the only way that I can explain it. Um, I can't explain it no other way. I mean, I don't know. Um, and, and, and that's another reason why I decide to go. I don't like to wear the pieces all the time. Um, I like to um, um, go natural uh, for a time, you know, to give my scalp the opportunity to breathe and to, you know, um, get, you know, maybe stimulate the hair follicles, whatever. Um, but yes, I am having a very difficult time right now, um, with growing my natural hair. It's very frustrating because, um, to be honest, I don't, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Um, but I, I think I look better with more hair on my head. I, I think I look better um, and it's not the fact that, um, I don't like, um, 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 African, I like to use the term African. I don't like to use the word nappy because nappy derived from slavery it was used to degrade us. So I don't like to use the term nappy. I prefer to call it African hair. Um, I love, actually love African hair and I love the natural styles that, um, a lot of the women are wearing now. I wish that I could achieve a lot of those natural styles, but, um, um. I'm, I'm kind of still going going through like a learning curve with my own hair, you know, learning maybe I'm, you know, um, been um, brainstorming some ideas that maybe I could do with my natural hair. Um, and, and it's slowly, it's a slow process, but I'm slowly learning to style my natural hair. It's just a matter of me um, doing it. <laughs> um I'm, I'm slowly learning to style my natural hair. Right now, my hair is so thin that um, my hair has always actually been kind of thin. Um, but um, 
right now it's natural, you know, and like I said, I can slick it back, um, put my product on, slick it back, and then put it back in a little bun, you know, and so I can pretty much do that. I mean, that's the advantage of having short, thin hair, you know, I can, I can actually do that. And they say as you get older too, your hair texture changes, it gets thinner, and, um, I've noticed that my hair has gotten thinner. It's definitely thinner up here than what it used to be. It used to, used to be the thickest part of my head. Um, I wish I had a picture that I could show you guys. Um, I do have a picture. I should have brought it out. Uh, but I could have showed you a picture that I had of when I had when I was younger. And I had more hair here. I've always, this always been the, the thickest part of my head up here. But I've always had dandruff issues too. Um, I've always had uh, problems with dry, flaky scalp. Still had those issues. Um, always had those issues. Um, mainly in here. Um, so, I mean, it's... I know when we do wear our hair natural, um, nowadays they have so many wonderful products that black women can use for natural hair. Um, right now, uh, believe it or not, we're going through a natural hair revolution. There is a lot of black women that are wearing their hair natural now, contrary to what most black men think. Um, a lot of, I notice a lot of black women are going natural. A lot of black women are wearing their hair natural. Is that something that they refuse to see? But there is a lot of black women that are wearing their hair natural. Now, I get more attention with, when I wear my pieces, I actually get more attention when I wear my pieces versus, versus when I wear my natural hair, you know, every now and then I get a head turn, but um, when I wear my pieces, I get tons of attention when I wear my pieces. Uh, but when I wear my hair natural like I have it now, I don't get as much attention, believe it or not. And they say black men love when black women wear their hair natural. But ironically, I get more attention with the weaves than I do with my natural hair. Go figure. And as you can see, I do have some gray in my hair. When I first seen that I was, my hair was getting more gray, I was actually started crying. <laughs> because I just didn't want, I, I think gray looks cute on everybody else. I don't know why I think that gray looks cute on everybody else, but on me, I don't think it look as good, looks as good on me. I don't know why. I don't think the gray looks as good on me, but everybody else, when I see everybody else with gray in their hair, I say, oh, that looks cute. It looks, she looks, that looks cute on her. But when, on me, I don't think it looks so good on me. I don't know if I'm going through a midlife crisis or I don't know what, what the issue is, but I just don't think that gray hair looks as cute on me. And it feels like, I looked in the mirror the other day, it looks like it's getting even grayer. And I don't believe in putting any chemicals in my hair. I haven't had a perm and permanent in my hair. And you know what? I can't even remember the last time I had a perm in my hair. It's literally been that long. It's been years. And I initially stopped wearing perms because um, I actually wore braids for five years. Literally wore braids for five years straight. And so I stopped wearing perms during that time. And then um, it got to the point to where... You know, it got expensive because my hair has always been thin. So when I wore perms, I had to go back like every six weeks to have it conditioned and, you know, redone or whatever, touched up and all that kind of stuff. And I got tired of going through that stuff. I got tired of sitting in the beauty salon. I got tired of spending obscene amounts of money getting my hair done. And then it would always flake up my scalp because I always had issues with flaking of the scalp. So I always get scalps and stuff in my scalp and... Um, come to find out, they say all those chemicals are not good for you. I, I always knew they wasn't good, you know. But now we're being pre presented with the facts that uh, the, those chemicals going into your scalp is just not healthy. It's not healthy for your body. So that was another thing that I thought about. It's like I thought about the cost and I thought about um, all the chemicals. I said, I don't want all those chemicals going in my body. And, and every time I would get the perm, it would burn my scalp and it was in all the scabs. And I just decided that, you know, I didn't even want to deal with that anymore. So I decided to just quit doing perms altogether. And it's been many, many years since I've wore a perm in my hair. Like I said, I can't even remember when I had a perm put in. So it's been many years. So I just don't believe in putting those chemicals in my hair. 
I'm not, not knocking out the black women, you know, because, you know, I think each w woman can do what she feels uh, is more, more comfortable for her as far as her hair. So I, I believe in women should wear their hair however they want to wear it, you know. I don't believe in telling other women how to wear their hair. I don't like people telling me how to wear mine or what to do with mine. So I believe each woman does what she feels is best for her or what she feels is more comfortable for her. So I'm not knocking other sisters for wearing perms. Disclaimer there. I personally don't want to put the chemicals in my body, on my hair, whatever. Especially at this particular time where my hair seems to be thinning, would be a bad idea for me to throw a perm in it. So no no for the perms for me. I'm thinking about getting it braided though. I think for the fall, I'm thinking about doing a latch hook and with the actual hair. I did that years ago and I'm thinking about doing that again. I was going to put the French braids, but I should have done that a couple of months ago. Didn't do it a couple of months ago. So I'm actually thinking about doing the, the latch hook with the curly hair. So stay tuned. Um, in a couple of months, I might pop up with that. And so. Um, I, I like having hair on my head. I think I look better with hair on my head. You know, like I said, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know if you guys think I look better like this or with hair. However, um, but it's liberating. I must say it's quite liberating going natural. It's very liberating. Um, I don't have to worry about, you know, um, trying to maintain any styles or anything like that. Like I said, I just put my product in, slick it back, put it in a bun because it's thin enough for me to do that. So, um, it is quite liberating and it's very much, much, very cooler in the summertime. However, now I'm going to show you the products that I use for my, to maintain my hair. I'm going to show you some of the products that I like to use on my ha hair. I like to kind of alternate because of the fact that I am having some issues growing hair. I like to alternate between different products and kind of try out but it's some, it's some things that I consistently used all the time on my hair. Um, here lately, uh, over the past couple of months, I've been using this Cantu Leave-In Conditioner. Oh, it's not an endorsement. It's Cantu Leave-In Conditioner. Oh, my God. This stuff is so good. You know, I, I love how it feels. Um, going. I, th I think it's better than the actual regular moisturizer. Uh, the, the regular moisturizer has a tendency to have a little bit too much uh, moisture, a little bit too much water in it. Um, this is, this has the perfect balance of oil and, and moisture. And I put it in my hair and I, you know, like I slick it back. I put in some earlier and I slicked it back. And it, it makes your hair softer. It makes your hair more manageable. Once I put it in my hair, I'm able to brush it, comb it, and able to pull it back into my bun with no problem i mean which i usually can do that with the moisturizer and the grease but this 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 has a perfect balance it really it has the perfect balance of moisture and oil and and it's a leave-in conditioner cantu has great natural hair products i love cantu cantu's products they have great product these are they have some great a great product line for natural hair for black women so this this is uh, the last couple of months i've been using it i try i bought the little bitty one and i tried it to try it out so i said i'm gonna break down and buy the big one because i use it almost every day and i mean it's it feels good going in my hair you know i can pull my hair back it gives and i think that's the most important thing for natural hair is keeping it moisturized keeping it oiled and keeping it moisturized but it has to have that balance um and I think that's what was part of my problem. My hair was drying out, and 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 it's important for me to keep my my hair moisturized. And this 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 um I sometimes with the moisturizer um I have a hard time um, maintaining that moisture in my hair. But this when I put this in my hair, it it locks in the moisture better. So I I, I love this the Cantu Leave-In Conditioner. I just found this about a couple of weeks ago at Dollar General. I went to Dollar General and I bought some of this olive oil. Oh my God, when you I put this in my hair, it made my hair so soft. It made my hair super soft when I put this in. It's called Ultra Care Olive Oil. And you can put it on your body and your hair 
when I put it in my hair, my hair was unbelievably soft. It just made my hair so soft. I just couldn't believe how soft it was. And I put it on my skin. I put it on some of my face. And my face, it just made my face glow. And it just made it so soft. So you can use it on your, uh, your scalp and your body. And it makes your skin so nice and soft. I don't know. It's olive oil. So, yeah. It, I put it on my hair. It just made my hair so soft. So I found that a couple of weeks ago at Dollar General for a dollar. I use Softy Hair Grease. Um, you know, this is the affordable hair grease. Uh, I got, I had some coconut oil, softy coconut oil. This is the Herbal Grow. This is very affordable, but it's also very good. You know, it's, it's very, it's a very good oil. And I usually mix that in with my moisturizer and my leave-in conditioner. I kind of put, you know, mix it together so my hair can have that nice balance. But it's, it's affordable. It's affordable. That's what I like about it. It's affordable. But I do use the more expensive greases, oils too. And I also use, I've been using, um, I haven't been using this as much lately, this Olive Miracle Anti-Breakage Mo Moisturizer. I haven't been using this as much lately because I've been using the Cantu Leave-In Conditioner. Like I said, this has a little bit more water in it. Um, it has a little bit more water in it. And I find that the Cantu leave-in conditioner has that nice balance of oil and water. So I haven't, here lately, I haven't been using this as much because I've been using my leave-in conditioner more than I've been using this. But I do use this. Um, it's an oil moisturizer lotion. Um, I'll, I'll always make sure I keep some of this on hand, though. Um, now, when I wash my hair... Here lately, over the past couple of months, I've been using Sulfur 8 um, Deep Cleaning Shampoo. Very expensive, but uh, like I said, I have a problem. I have always had a problem with dandruff, flaking, and all that. And I find since I've been using this, um, I haven't had as much flaking and dandruff. It hasn't been as bad, so it has been better since I've been using this. Um, it's, it's pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. It's it's like the uh, head and shoulders for black people. Sulfur 8. And they also have grease too. So I've been using that here lately. Now I also have some other shampoo that I was using. Um, the Akai Berry with Keratin. Uh, Cream of Nature Strengthening Shampoo. I was using that before I was using the Sulfur 8. And um, uh, it, got, it's, it's got, it smells good. It's got Akai Berry in it. And this, this was good too. I enjoyed this as well. Um, this Cantu coconut oil, I love, like I said, I love Cantu products. I got this at the Kmart years ago when we had it open. So I've had it for quite a while, but it's, it's a, it's a shine in, 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 in hold mist that, you know, you, it kind of, you spray it on and it kind of adds a nice moisturize, you know, like if I put my hair back, um, and I want to add a little extra moisture right quick before I go out somewhere or whatever. I can spray it in. Or I can spray it in in the middle of the day. You know, add that little extra moisture to my hair and, you know, and the little sheen. This is this is good. Or I, I, I use this also when I wear my braids. When I wear my braids, this is a good thing to use too when I wear my braids. And I just spray it in between my braids to provide that extra moisture and stuff like that. So I love this stuff too. This is some good stuff. Um, I use, I, when I when I wash my hair, um, after I wash my hair, here lately I've been using a deep conditioner because I'm trying to, because I'm trying to grow my hair, I use a deep condition. And so lately, um, um, I got some, I have some other ones that I use too. But I just bought this just recently. It's a deep hair treatment, hair mask treatment from, once again, Cantu. Um, now, this requires that you, you put a heat on it. You put it on your hair after you wash your hair. You put it in your hair and you put heat on it. Now, I got the old school. I got, I got the handheld dryer, but I got one of them old school dryers that you put on your head and you turn it on. Yeah, I got one of the old school ones. So last time I did this, I use my old school, I, I, I drag that out the closet, use my old school dryer, and I put this in my hair, and then I put the dryer on, and I left it on for 15 minutes. And I've been using a lot of these deep conditions lately. Um, I didn't use it the last time I washed my hair, but, um, oh, I used another one that I had. 
Um, I sometimes use the coconut oil one too, deep condition. So because I'm trying to grow my hair, I um, like to use the deep conditioning where it helps to restore any damage that I that I did or any uh, breakage that I may have in my hair or whatever like that. It's good. It's good. I, like I said, I love Can2 products. Can2 has some of the best products for natural hair. I highly recommend that black women, um, if you're wearing your hair natural, definitely, this is not an endorsement, but it, Can2 has some of the best uh, products for natural hair. So I really, really love their products, and I'm really, really happy and impressed with their products. So I just wanted to tell you, share with you guys some of the things that I use for my natural hair to maintain my natural hair. It's thin. It's not thicker. I wish I had thicker hair, but it's, 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 it's thinner. They say people with the thick hair wish they had the thinner hair. So um, to keep it moisturized, the important thing is to keep that balance that oil and moisture balance. Don't put too much oil. Don't put too much moisture. Too much moisture will dry out your hair. And when our hair dries out, it gets brittle and starts breaking off. So we got to have that perfect balance. But you put too much oil, that's not good either. You don't want to lock up your pores. So you want to have that good balance. More Concentrate more on putting the oil on your hair versus putting it on your scalp. You can put a little on your scalp, but mainly focus on your hair. Uh, so that oil seeps down into your hair shaft. You don't want to put too much oil on your scalp because, like I say, you don't want to lock up, lock up those pores because uh, you need those pores to be open so your hair can grow. So the, you your hair does need natural black hair needs that that balance of moisture and oil. You, I think you need a balance. I used to I used to believe I grew up believing that you put lots and lots of oil in your hair and brush it and. Um, um, they did have Afro Sheen back in the 70s, but uh, as I got older, I come to realize that it has to have a balance. You know, you have to have a balance. Now, sometimes I will use my, years ago, I did a product review on my strengthening brush. And sometimes I'm thinking about going to invest in a, uh, one of those, um, what they call them, um, flat irons. Um, and I, I got a plug-in straightening comb every now and then. Um, just here recently, I blew it out. I used my strengthening blush, brush, and I blew it, blow, uh, blew it out. And so when I do that, I don't use any moisturizer. I just use grease to kind of slick it back for a few days. And then I'll go back to using my moisturizer. I don't typically put a, make it a practice to putting a lot of heat in my hair. So I don't do that very often. But if, if I want to add provide a little bit more length to my hair then I'll you know I'll blow it out a little bit not really press it to get really straight but blow it out a little bit so when I pull it back that will provide a little bit more length for me if I want to provide a little bit more length or maybe do a cute style in my hair or maybe do an afro then I will blow it out you know for a day a few days or whatever or two or three days um, and then I'll go back to using my moisturizer and stuff like that. I typically don't make it a practice of putting a lot of heat in my head. So I hope you got, gave you guys some good tips. If you got some tips for me, put them in the comment down below in the comment section. Um, hit me up. Let me know what you guys use for your hair. If you, if any of you guys are going, any of you sisters out there are going natural, let me know what products that you guys are using for your hair, you know, and if you got some product ideas for me. I just wanted to share with you guys some of the products that I use on my natural hair. So until the next video, peace and love. This is Sweet Jim.